Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the evolution of computing power. So computing power is the throughput measured at which a computer can complete a computational task. And Google uh, has a variety of offerings uh, for the innovations in this particular field. Uh, the one that we're all most common with are CPUs. So this is just like what's in your computer, your laptop. When we're talking about cloud computing, the one that we commonly see are Xeon CPU processors, because they're uh, very, very uh, good processors. And so the offering here uh, at any cloud service provider would be via virtual machines. And so for Google, their virtual machines are offered via Compute Engine. Uh, then we're looking at tensor computing. So uh, Google created their own um, uh, machine learning, deep learning framework called TensorFlow. And it has a new type of data structure called a tensor uh, that is specifically optimized for uh, you know, neural networks. And the idea here is that um, Google decided to create a piece of hardware that is specifically designed for their uh, tensor data structure. Uh, and so that's what they have, which is this TPU thing. And for this particular use case, it is 50 times faster than a traditional CPU, all right? Uh, and it, this is really for the space of neural nets. Uh, uh, if you want to have this offering on uh, uh, Google Cloud, you'd be using the Cloud TPU, okay? And the last one here is quantum computing. And so quantum computing is interesting because it has the potential to be 100 million times faster. It is, uh, we're literally using parallel parallel uh, uh, a universe or dimension uh, using things like quantum entanglement, very advanced concepts in order to uh, perform uh, insane amount of computation. But this field is very early days. And so uh, being able to apply it is uh, uh, not uh, very easy, but that doesn't mean that you can't play around with it. Uh, Google has an offering, um, I know, uh, AWS has an offering for this, but in particular, uh, Google has uh, been producing uh, different hardware. So they first had Foxtail in 2016, then Bristol Cone in 2017. And I think the latest one they have is Sim uh, Sigamore in 2018. All right, and so this is all accessible via the Google Quantum AI, all right?